Hey guys, today we're making some pork fingers and sausage. That's what my mom always called it. I don't care what you call it, as long as it's good. And it is, it is. I promise. Check it out. All right, what you're gonna need for this is one whole bell pepper, two onions chopped, a bowl of celery, which is only three stalks of celery chopped, two teaspoons of garlic is, I don't know, roughly four cloves of garlic chopped and minced, and a pack of new news fresh chicken and jalapeno sausage. All right, we're gonna start by putting the stove on about medium high. Go put about, I don't know, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. All right, this is about two pounds, a pound and a half of pork country style ribs chopped up. With the bone in, of course, because I love the way the bones add to the flavor of the gravy. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's feeling nice and hot. I haven't seen smoke yet, but we're waiting for the smoke. Once we start seeing a little bit of smoke come up, we're going to add the meat. That's the best way you know to get it brown. It's got to be hot enough. But if you let it smoke too long, the oil's going to burn. We don't want that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna be using in this video is what's called a roux spoon. I'm not making a roux today, but I still love this spoon because it always makes contact with the bottom of the pot. Now you guys are starting to see it smoke like that. Now it's time to add the meat. Let's add it. A little bit at a time. We don't wanna crowd the pan. You know what? This is add the whole thing. Now, I'm so glad y'all got to stay with me today, hang out, cook this wonderful meal. Now, once you feel, once you feel like you got all the meat or most of the meat making good contact with the bottom, knock all the crap off your spoon. and let it cook for a little while. Oh, you can hear that stuff smelling good. It's been about uh, two or three minutes. Gonna stir it. You can start to see the goodness at the bottom of the pot. Just keep mixing. Mix and mix and mix. Try to turn the meat that ain't brown yet. Or try to burn, turn the meat that is brown over so the other side can brown. About like that. Always brown uncovered. You never want to brown it covered because what that's going to do is it's going to create moisture. It's going to drop to the bottom of the pan and it's going to, it's going to make it harder to brown. So you don't want to brown it with moisture. Or with the, with the, you don't want to brown it with the lid on is what I mean. All right, now that you got the meat added and everything, let's turn that up to high heat. Never be afraid to cook with high heat. Just keep an eye on it. Every time you add stuff, it's going to cool the pan down. Ooh, you can see some of that meat looking, whoo -hoo, looking good. Looking brown. Keep browning it. We're gonna let it get a little bit more brown and we're gonna add the onion and bell peppers and celery. All right, now earlier when I said you ain't gotta worry about cooking on high heat, I'm talking only if you have a heavy bottom pan, like a cast iron skillet like this or a cast iron pot like this. This thing will take the heat. Put what cast iron pans do best. Oh, look at all the smoke. But you can start to see that meat's starting to brown good. Looking good. Mm, mm, mm. 
Ah, dog. So yeah, you you can separate and brown these in smaller batches. I just like to do them all at once. That's almost there. See all them goodies at the bottom. Look at that. I'm gonna try to clear it up from this you can see. Yeah, there you go. All right, now we're gonna add about half, about half the onion. I have the bell pepper. About half the celery. All right, now we're gonna mix that up. That's gonna cool the bottom off. And we are not adding any water yet. What this is going to do, these vegetables are going to start to soften. They're going to start to lose their water. And they're going to coat the bottom of the pan by themselves. So we're going to leave that. Cook that there. Scrape. Scrape the bottom good. Get all that good stuff off. Really want to give it some good scrapes. I lost one. Mm -mm. Look at that, look at all the, look at the liquid down there. I ain't add nothing to it yet. This is all the liquid from the meat, the vegetables. Mm -mm -mm. My all, all, I wish my camera had a scent attachment or something that you could smell this. Because, whoo, whoo, it smells good. All right, we're gonna add, this is a seasoning blend that I just made. It's got cayenne pepper. I'm gonna have the ingredients listed on the side right over here this has cayenne pepper salt thyme sage white pepper red pepper combination of all those i'm gonna add that we am gonna lower the heat here in a minute i'm gonna add a can this is my secret ingredient mama never added this i'm just throwing it in here one can of eight ounce tomato sauce About half. I'm gonna put about four ounces. Give it a good flavor. Alright, let's lower that. Alright. Now we're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. There you go. Let that cook. <laughs> We're gonna add the fresh sausage. It's gonna cook. You don't break it apart or do nothing with it yet. Let it cook first. Make sure that back part comes off put it right on top move some of that meat around just mix it around mix it around till it gets in there like that make sure all your seasoning gets in there All right. 
We're going to add the rest of the vegetables. Let's get those mixed in. Just kind of push those into the corners. Get them in any corner you could find. This is all going to cook down once it starts boiling. All right. Now we're going to cover and we're going to let this simmer for about an hour. See y'all in an hour. All right. Once we added the chicken stock in, though, it dropped it down way below a simmer. So crank it back up to high heat. Let it get back up to a boil. Then we're going to drop it down to, a, to about a medium low. And we're going to let it simmer like that. We're going to do that for about an hour. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. If I told you how good that smelled. Woohoo! Man. Oh, you can really, the thyme, the sage, everything. Oh, it smells amazing. And now it's just simmering low. Let me give that a good stir. Me, but I tell you what. Oh man. Good. It ain't sticking. It's been cooking now for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna let it go for the next 35 minutes. Close that. Alright, let's let it cook some more. Alright guys, I got like a half hour left. This is what it looks like right now. As you can tell, I still have a little bit of water in here. I think a little bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is when I cover it, I'm gonna let it cook the last, I'm gonna let it cook the last half an hour. Partially uncovered. About like that. And I'm gonna crank the temperature up to about medium. All right, guys, it's been an hour. One hour, and it's smelling amazing. Let's check it out. All right. <laughs> oh, man. This is, it smells, I wish, oh, I say it every video that I wish you could smell this, but I'm like for real right now. Because, oh my. Beautiful color from the tomato sauce and the browning of the meat. All right, last but not least, we're gonna grab use your favorite kitchen shears or some regular scissors, and we're gonna uh oh cut it. into serving sizes like that let's move that there you go cut 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 there you go and the last one and then in half there you have it folks Pork fingers and sausage.